Hello, hello, hello. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Fingers crossed. Hello. Hello, hello. All right, we're drilling some balls today. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's not too loud in here, but you know what they say it is what it is. Let's just not mess these things up. Drilling for success. Oh, start off and match up the breaker. Time to get up two hours from my shift and watch a dude put holes in a ball. Felix, um, glad that's what you're spending your time doing. drill on this press this isn't mine so it might take me a little longer than usual I got seven balls to drill here, so we got um, we got three knockout bruisers, two stealths, and two. Um, we got three knockout bruisers, two stealths, and two envy tours, uh, because I brought an envy tour and a stealth already, uh, which will give me three, three, and three of each, um, and I'm drilling them all slightly differently from each other. So uh, pigeon bowling that is what i'm drilling hopefully hopefully this uh this game plan of drilling a lot of balls that i really like works out for me i'd rather have the goal was to get a bunch of balls that i already knew i liked drill them all differently and hopefully um from there i'd be able to make a little bit easier transition from one ball to the next when i'm uh when i'm in a tournament So for example, if one ball is hooking a little too early, I can switch to the one with the slightly weaker and less responsive layout to get it to go a little further down lane or uh, just respond to the friction a little smoother. I'm just gonna drill all of these right fingers first. That is the goal.
you guys got any questions, fire them in the chat. I'm going to try and answer them kind of in between as I switch these balls out because I know it can be super, super noisy once I get the press fired up. He's got any more questions? Felix, what's up? Thank you. Appreciate the donation. Definitely. Once again, as always, not needed. Um, as for Josh, a good spare ball option. I like to choose the most reliable spare ball I could get. I chose a T-zone for a while. That thing, I used one T-zone probably for like two years, maybe a couple thousand games on it without the fingers ever cracking. I just choose one. Um, they all go decently straight, but nowadays I... Um, I'm able to get some balls for free and my company sponsors me and I use Visiballs just because I think they look the coolest. So, uh, should I join a bowling league? Absolutely. Bowling league. Um, I still bowl league. So for you, shot boy, um, I bowl league just cause I have, I like having a fun time with my friends on Tuesday nights. Um, I bowl in like one of the more competitive leagues, but there's leagues for all bowlers, super competitive all the way down to um, just more fun leagues where you can go and hang out with your friends, not worry about the score, throw a straight ball down the middle, but all that sort of stuff. So I'll answer some more questions after I drill this one. we got now got any more questions or anything like that um, all right knockout number three If we got any updated questions, what do I think of Bull U? I actually, I really like the stuff that they have. Um, it's just a different way of thinking about how you play the lanes. Um, I do enjoy listening to what they have and what they have to offer and what they have to say. I don't love every aspect of it because I think it confuses a lot of things. However, I do think that a lot of the things they do have to say are super useful. Um, so there you go, two-handed technician. Davy, exotic gem or eternity on the house shot? Both those are storm balls. No comment. But it it also depends completely on your style of spit, on your style of play. I know an exotic gem tends to be a little smoother, a little earlier, whereas an eternity is definitely an eternity is definitely going to respond a little harder to the friction, be a little more snappy. So that's all on you on what you want. Um. 
how do you two handers throw the spare ball sometimes like a one hander with only two fingers? I can't even come close to that. Maybe it's a finger fitting. Um, I'm assuming you're talking about how we get up the back and kind of lower the rev rate. I tend to not lower my rev rate nearly as much as some of the other guys. However, um, I do get really far up the back, which is um, just a helpful, helpful tool in terms of um, making my spare ball hook less and make it respond to the friction more. So when I throw it and I make the spare, I truly do make the spare. I don't necessarily hook past it or watch my ball skid past it. Do I like the 2.0 hybrid? I think it's a really good ball. I think the righties already have shown to love it. Like Dom absolutely loves his. Um, for me, it's the asymmetric hybrids are always a tough shape to wrap my head around. Um, but that one definitely is something that I can see myself using on some of those like medium to heavier patterns where I have to get inside and still have my ball hook where some of those symmetrical pearls and hybrids don't recover. The, um, the, some of those symmetric like pearls and hybrids don't recover. The ASIMs actually have a little earlier hook to them and a little more kick in the middle of the lane, which is what I do like to see out of them. Uh, it's just hard to see myself playing that deep on like a frequent basis. Um, how to lay out a ball. Where do you put the holes? Um, these layouts, this layout right here is going to be the one that I'm putting on the ball right now is a 55 by four and three quarters inches by this one would be a 50 last angle. It's just going to be a smoother layout. If you guys have questions about how to lay out bowling balls, I would highly suggest you either go to your pro shop or I think Mikey and Chris on TV bowling supply have put up a a video or videos on how to drill bowling balls and how not how to drill them, but how they lay them out and how layouts work. I'm not an expert in that field. I'm certainly not. So I would go to your local pro shop and ask those questions. Um, last one, that blue pit. What's up? What's up? What's up? Just drilling some balls, getting ready for the tour stop in Jackson. We're leaving tomorrow for practice. Hey, -o. down well really only one and a half down because i'm only drilling one finger so far try and crank these puppies out as quick as possible not because i don't like drilling balls but certainly not because i love drilling balls i got it easy i only got to put two fingers in it What else we got? What else we got? And new comments. How long in your eyes is a bowling ball's lifespan? Um, bowling, bowling ball's lifespan can be as long as you make it. A lot of the new balls nowadays lost, last a little bit longer than they used to just because they have so much more hook potential out the gate. But personally, I replace a ball probably every 80 games I throw it. Um, which would be almost a whole league season, 36 weeks at three weeks. It lasts me about three quarters of a league season, but that would be if you throw only that ball every single game. So um, 
three quarters of a league season if you throw only that specific bowling ball. If you throw other balls, I usually get a full league season or two out of my bowling balls. So, I mine last a little longer than others. Not last a little longer, but I use them a little longer than others. Whereas other people definitely use them probably about 40 games, maybe less. Um, a lot of the pros use them um, much, much less just because not because they can, but because they think it is that much more important when you're bowling against the best bowlers in the world to get possibly that extra one hit per game. Favorite lefty on YouTube. Appreciate that, Felix. Um, dang. So my used ones from 2010 or 2008 are probably used up. I wouldn't say they're used up as much as they're just, um, Tony, as much as they're just hooking a little less than they used to. So you can use them for as long as you want. However, I would say after a certain number of games, they do start to hook less and less and less. Um, dead polymers. I use a dual angle. So, yeah. Again, like you said, different way to get the same result. You can, I could translate these numbers from a dual angle layout all the way to um, just a regular layout. What region do I live in? Secrets. But you can look me up. I live in Kansas. Um, yeah. All right, again, fire in any questions you guys have. Um, as for the layouts and the tech behind this, I'm limited knowledge in comparison to a lot of guys, but I know a little bit. I know a little. To the stealth. Well, we got an end left as well. Lock this puppy in. see a few more questions who we got who we got bunch of strange question but any tip for people with sweaty hands my hands used to be sweatier than most people i have an issue with it slipping out of my hands i use rosin kind of like late in the blocks when it gets important obviously everyone gets a little nervous um and i do too maybe it's just the amount of time bowling, the nerves, the excitement, the energy, but my hands do get a little sweaty. And that's where you see me using a rosin bag pretty much on every TV show because it's a little hotter. The energy is a little bit up. The Your adrenaline's going. All of it just gets a little more hot and sweaty as do my hands. So I use a rosin bag before every single shot. Uh, I get Buddy's Pro Shop hooks me up. You can get any different design you want, whatever looks cool. Um, SPL Society, I bowled my first 300 with a virtual gravity nano that was 10 years old. Yeah, I mean, 
so balls when when i answer that question about balls like how long is the lifespan you could use a ball until it cracks which could be never right um you could also drill a new ball every three weeks a bowling ball's lifespan is as long as you make it you can use it until it's much 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 past dead so that's all on you guys is a 40 year old plastic ball still good to use yeah oh my god um plastic balls never die so the reason a ball dies is because it soaks up oil it gets like waterlogged like a baseball wouldn't it stops hooking as much so not waterlogged but the pores that help a ball hook the peaks and valleys that help a ball actually pick up the oil and hook get filled with oil and you can only wipe your ball clean and spray it with cleaner so many times before that oil just gets gunked in there much like a sponge eventually you throw away your old sponges so that's when i would say um don't throw away your old sponges but maybe just try and get a new sponge and every once in a while you can go back to your old sponge uh whether it's a 20 year old bowling ball and you're looking okay well i don't need as much hook so i'm using the old ball or if you're trying to get a ton of hook out of a big hooking bowling ball you're saying okay well i need a fresher bowling ball because this is this is a really oily pattern envy tour mindset completely different balls the envy tour is going to be more in the middle of your lineup and the mindset's going to be at the top I will have both this week. I'll have three envy tours and a mindset this week. My mindset was a tank when I threw it during that ball video though. Absolutely loved it. So envy tour and mindset completely different. Buddy's pro shop rules. You're darn right. They do. Bob Car Carol, Bob Carroll. Doesn't detoxing help at all? So it does. I would say detoxing, you know, like I said, my ball might die after like 60 to 80 games. That's when I would detox a ball and you can get another 60 or 80 out of it. I would say detoxing a ball, you can only do it so many times before you just truly lose the performance of the ball. Um, but detoxing can almost, or detoxing, or I know rejuvenating your ball is a similar process. It does get the oil out of the ball, but you can only do that so many times before you should just really get a new bowling ball because not only do the balls get older but so does the technology because lane companies come out with new oils all of that stuff so a brand new virtual gravity from 15 years ago that hasn't been touched hasn't been drilled still won't hook nearly as much as a mindset so that's my opinion on getting new bowling balls every once in a while you need a new ball Powering through these right now.
I probably should stop drilling into the ball the same way every time. All right, well, one of the questions we got here, I'm trying to answer as many as I can without messing up the whole process of drilling this bone ball. questions we got i still use my original 16 pound hammer fat ball i've rolled eight 700s this year that's awesome that's awesome i loved i used to have an old hammer nail that ball is sweet strong every day you love this hoodie you can use code packy 10 at uh coolwick.com for 10 percent off your for 10 percent off your order which is where i got this hoodie um i really like it because they put all the logos on it for me they put the buddy's pro shop they put the vice the genesis they put the dexter logo on the sleeve too so they put all the logos that I need um, and all the companies that represent me and I represent them. So um, lefty here, pink widow or purple daddy for urethane choice. The purple urethane ball is the most unique bowling ball ever made. I would say if you're going to go with one, that would be the one that you should choose first. Hoping to see you back in Maine this year. Me too, my man. Me freaking too. Uh, adjust this a little bit. It's a little crooked. It's killing me. Um, do you have any recommendations for someone who has only ever bowled straight? I don't want to invest my limited money into a new bowling ball without knowing if I can even use it. I would talk to your local pro shop. And if you're getting into learning how to hook a bowling ball, I would say start with a low price point ball. Start with like a Rhino or a Twist or a a black raw hammer from Buddy's Pro Shop. I know they sell them. I think it's for $99.99, uh, which would be the very bottom. You're going to get a normal, regular amount of hook out of ball, and it's a great ball that you can learn to start hooking a bowling ball. And that's where I would, you know, when you go to your local pro shop and they do drill a ball for you, hopefully it's one of those lower price point balls um, because you are just getting into it. You don't want to spend, in relation to golf, you don't want to spend $500 on a driver when you can't, you don't, you've never even swung a club before. You should probably start with like the rental set, right? Or in this case, a very, very low price point ball. Learn how to hook it a little bit. And then from there, you can graduate to getting a ball that hooks and works for you. Um, so that's what I would say to you. That's what I would suggest. How do I learn how to bowl if I don't have a coach? We have some tip videos online. Brad and Kyle do a lot of tip videos online. So you don't necessarily need coaching as much as there is plenty of information out there on how to get better and just how to bowl in general. So whether it's one-handed or two-handed, I do a lot of two-handed tip videos. Brad and Kyle do a lot of one-handed tip videos. I would take that information and uh, just try and learn a little bit here and there. Let's get to drilling this still.
got one left, and then we got to move this press. Off. One more hammer envy. See what kind of questions want to drill and bring me a ball for tomorrow. I don't know who you are, so probably not. Probably not bringing anybody any bowling balls. Might need them all. You never know. You never know which one you're going to need, which is why a lot of pros bring 75 bowling balls to every tournament. If you can't beat them, join them. So I'm drilling a bunch of balls. Yikes, this thing is tight, tight. When are you making a two-handed, what was that, when are you making? When are you and Chris Vi making a two-handed tip video? I've made a two-handed tip video. So if you want to go onto thehousebowling.com and search two-handed tips or two-handed bowling, there is a two-handed tip video that I've made. Chris Vi lives about 12 hours away from me, so hopefully that video can come soon. But for right now, I don't have one specifically uh, with Chris Vi, but I do have a Two-handed tip video. Do you think that your typical layout, since you're a two-hander, would work for a one-hander? I do think these would work for a one-hander. Um, these layouts specifically are fit for what I need right now. When I go into the off-season and I go to a lot of house shot tournaments or a lot of tournaments on some easier patterns, that's when I would say weaker balls, weaker layouts. But for right now, a lot of these are some strong layouts and some strong bowling balls uh, to get my balls to hook in the amount of oil that is put out on the PBA Tour. <laughs> That's a little bit here. Let's see what else we got in the questions tab. Let me move this press around. What else we got? How many balls can you drill before having the bits resharpened? This 30, 1 30 second bit actually needs to be resharpened, but I don't know the exact amount of balls that you would have to drill before resharpening a bit. Probably a thousand, I have no idea.
probably could have left all the balls in there. Well, that's a great question. I don't know how many balls you should have drilled before you resharpen your bits. Packy duck, duck, duck. It's a low, little low post. What tape do you use on your fingers? I use a Vice logo tape on my fingers, to, and it's really just to protect, like the uh, the cuticles I get sometimes on my fingers from bowling so many games. Um, fish in Northern Ohio. My mindset layout would be very similar to this one. A uh, fifty-five by. Oh, it's going to be a 55 by, hello, 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 should be a dog coming down here, but it's going to be a 55 by four and three quarters inch by 50. So a very standard basic layout for me. I actually got to go get Chris. I'll be right back in a second. Sorry guys, I needed, I needed some extra juice. Breaker is incoming to fix the press. The breaker cut off. So uh, the press got unzeroed, but I just went ahead and drilled all of the um, I just went and drilled all of these. Hey, thank you for good videos. I'm a big fan. Thanks, bro. Appreciate the donation. Prather to the rescue. Good, good. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Also, my uh, my computer struggling. The uh, my computer charger died. Oh, like the the cord went bad. So I'm dealing with that with my. Uh... I will need to go somewhere. Hey, puppy! They can see you. Trust me. You just gotta have faith. Teddy, is Teddy gonna drill some balls for us? Probably. What do you think? Huh? Oh, no, someone's excited. <laughs> Why was he peeing? Eh, you know what they say? Eh, it is what it is. Got a little nervous. All 
All right. Now that we're all fixed up, Prather did did the job. I'm a way better bowler than Packy is. You want the best left. You want the best and better than PDW and Velmo. All right, David, love the confidence. Packy, how to do a messenger? The messenger's a lucky break. It's not even a real strike. It's a lucky break. Um, but if you want to get a messenger, Brunswick does make them. So there's my cheesy joke of the day. And my sales pitch for Brunswick bowling balls. Done. All in one. Get a messenger. How many bowling balls do you own? Well, I'm drilling nine. I just gave, you know, I just gave seven or eight away to you guys that I had new inbox at the end of the year for hitting 90,000 subscribers. We're at 105,000 or 104,000 subscribers now. I appreciate all of you. Every 105,000 of you who are who have supported along the journey. Um, that being said, should we do a 100,000 subscriber giveaway? And if so, what should we give away? And how many bowling balls do I own? I have about 20 to 25 older, some classic, some newer, probably, probably 35 if you include the classics, probably have 35 undrilled bowling balls. Um, very, very few of them are like new bowling balls so yeah i have about 35 new bowling balls that i haven't drilled and i own and use probably about another 30 so i'd say about between between about 70 and 80 bowling balls probably closer to 80 if i had to guess that would be my guess One ball completely done, six to go. So that's how much time you guys have to fire in as many questions as possible. Six bowling balls worth. I gave a slap shot in my hands. Hi from Italy. What up, Mattia Bendy? It's absolutely wild, LMAO. Is I'm assuming you're talking about how many bowling balls. Is the Helix in a display case now? I actually have two different um I have a red and I have two helixes that are both drilled, and then I have one left-handed undrilled helix that I still have. No, it's not in a display case, but it probably should be. A little potty patrol here. Chris, how many bowling balls do you own? Uh, they asked me how many I actually owned. I said, I just gave away about 20. Gave away, I gave like 10 away to fans. Gave some others away to a high school program. Um, how many do you think you own? I can count them right now. Um, one, two. 
Is the IT ball count? Any ball? No, the IT ball. I was going to say any ball counts, but not the IT ball. Uh, Dude, people were, people were loving that vice fit ball. They were like, somebody should have chosen the vice fit ball or the ball with 20 finger holes in the background in the abandoned bowling alley. I was like, yeah, I didn't want to mess up the ball. That's like an actual fitting ball. Yeah. Um, undrilled, I have I've, probably like eight or nine. Oh, really? That's it? You drill pretty much everything. Yeah, I drill all of them. I I also drill all of them, but whenever they send me up to the plant, I get that one, and then I also get it in the mail. So a lot of times I'll have like a duplicate. But I t- I have about thirty, because I have a lot of old ones too. I have like double helix, phantoms. I don't um, have any old any old bowling balls. Um, it's because you're right-handed. Yeah, I, I drill pretty much all of them. Uh, I'll have to do Everything else is drilled and. Who has more undrilled balls at the house, you or Mitch? Mitch. <laughs> Mitch guaranteed. Yeah. Um, it could be Bree, uh, his wife. Bree has the most? Yeah. She got a bunch of storm balls down there. She got a bunch of them. Is that mindset Mitch's or Bree's? Uh, do, I, do I drill Mitch's ball? Maybe. Yeah, Bree's got eight balls. That mindset is unbelievable. I watch Chris and I just kind of whoop my butt. Chris, any opinion on your DNA? Give me a quick synopsis. Um, similar response time to friction as a regular gem, but a bit cleaner, probably four or five feet cleaner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I think useful, but I think better for the guys that are like super heavy handed. Better for the guys that just roll it. Yeah. High rev rate. No. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. using a tropical storm that's a very good beginner bowling ball very good low end ball um pack aside from preference choice and choosing a company what would say to a bowler who struggles choosing between which company to throw i would say throw them all obviously i'm a brunswick guy so i would say we have a lot and a lot of options so if you're looking for a volume perspective and an options perspective i would say choose some brunswick balls but in reality um, as an, as someone who is a non-staffer, I would say throw them all. See what you like and kind of stick with the brands that you like. Not the brands that people tell you you should like, but just say, okay, yeah, like this hammer raw solid rolls really good for me. I'm going to try and I'm going to try out another hammer ball like a uh, Black Widow Ghost. But um, yeah, I would say try them all out. See what you like. See what fits your game the best. Each company has a little different strength, I feel like. Um, but try them all out, especially if you're looking for some bronzer balls. Let's see. Airfield three. How many different how many different patterns do you drill? Right now. I have three, I'm assuming you mean layouts. I'm drilling three different layouts on three different bowling balls, which would be nine bowling balls. Um, I'm drilling seven because I already have two of them done, but I usually stick to one very basic 65 by four and three quarters by fifth or 60 by four and three quarters by 55 um, or by 50 degree layout. It's just basic pin above the bridge for me for different paps. It would be different obviously, but for me, it's a pin above the bridge. 
gives me a nice smooth controllable shape that's what i like to use smooth and controllable and then i can make it do different things with my hand No, I am not going to bowl live after this. See what else we got. What else we got? Three down. Four to go. For a couple more of these questions again. What we got, what we got, tried duck pin or candle pin. I have, I've actually done a couple of videos on it. Those are super hard in comparison to real bowling. Ten pin bowling, not real bowling. How many different colors? Very confused by that question, William Barnstein. Please clarify. One of the most games you typically put on a ball before replacing it. Like I said, I, I'm usually on the longer span of like 80 if I'm using it for league. On tour, I'll say like 40-ish. Um, good day. Ever thought about coming to Bias to do a show? I don't know what Tobias is. I'm assuming it's country and a typo do. Packy, what, what's your favorite bowler is? My favorite bowler? I'm picking myself. No. Uh, my favorite bowler to bowl against? Really like Tommy Jones, Belmo. Uh, Belmo and Tommy, both super helpful to me. Chris Prather, but he is more of my friend than a guy I looked up to when I was like watching bowling as a kid. What's a good ball for us seniors who have a low rev rate? It depends how fast you throw it. If you're a low rev rate guy and you throw it kind of fast, Marvin, um, if you're a low rev rate guy and you throw it kind of fast, I would say choose a stronger ball. But for most, for most seniors, I like seeing some shiny balls in their hands. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say like a, uh, a black, what a black widow hybrid. I'm personally a huge fan of the 3d offset attack or the top speed. Um, and if you want to go lower end than that, I've had a ton of success with my Rhino shooting my highest four game set ever. Or one of my highest four game sets ever is with a Rhino. I shot like 1150 or something with it. Um, shows you any ball, as long as it's the right ball for that condition can do wonders for you. So I would say a rhino.
we are officially more than halfway. So we got, I'm sure we got some more good ones coming in. I have aspiration to bowl with slash against you on tour one day. What are some things one-handed lefty can work on to get to that level? Practice, practice, practice. Spares are huge just in terms of you can't be giving away pins to the field. Um, and get some coaching and get some help. Um, you, can't, you can't become the level of a professional bowler without getting at least a little bit of coaching or help along the way. So... But if I was to give you any piece of advice, specifically, it would be learn how to bowl on sport patterns. Get a coach, have them help you. Someone from your area who's reputable, knowledgeable, has worked with other good players in the past in your area. Have them help you out and usually um, just practice, 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 I would say. If you work hard enough, you can do anything. That is one of my life models. Doesn't matter what you're doing, you can do anything you want if you work hard enough. Get a couple more in. Have you ever been to DeLuna Lands? Of course. The home of Chris Prather. Michael Jordan mindset. Trying. Trying. My pro shop guy is old, don't know how, and don't know two-handed. What's the first thing I need for a layout on my bowling balls? Uh, your PAP. Check what your PAP is, and it doesn't matter if you're two-handed or one-handed. Um, you should be able to get a, a normal or a close layout. Um, whether it's two-handed or, or one-handed. Thank you. Keep up your phenomenal work. I'm trying. I'm trying, Reese. Would you ever do a video with Briley Haw? Huh? That's my guy right there. I bowled in college with him. Um, him and Wes did, yeah. He also bowled with me. So, of course, I'd do a video with Briley Haw. Briley Ha. He's a super nice kid. Hard worker for sure. If you were at the pro shop and you're going to purchase a new ball, are you buying the Fate or the Exotic Gem? I'm buying neither. 
I'm buying an Envy Torque because it's the best ball on the best ball on the market. see what we got plenty more questions you guys keep firing in good ones for sure and set that video up with briley i would he's really far away though he lives in minnesota i live in the middle of the middle kansas have you ever thought about bowling bradley i have a bunch of times it's just never worked out in terms of dates location stuff like that i like your videos naples thank you I have a ball in about eight years. Packy, what would you suggest? I'm a one-hander. Uh, I've never seen you bowl, so I can't suggest anything, but I would suggest, um, like, for example, this ball I'm drilling right now, very middle of the line, middle of the line up bowling ball. Um, it is a knockout bruiser from Brunswick. Um, and that's exactly what I would suggest. I would suggest something like this knockout bruiser that's dead in the middle of our lineup. It's going to be Versatile, so any bowler can really use it and use it to the best of their success. Um, this one matches up with a lot of games just because it's a smooth, symmetrical ball. I'd also suggest a radical rattler, a track stealth if you want a little more hook and you have a little lower rev rate. But this ball is perfect for pretty much all styles of bowlers just because um, it's like a mid to low end symmetrical with not a whole lot of surface on the cover. Um, but this ball is going to be awesome. I, I know it. I know it. This knockout bruiser. So um, that answer was for Nathan Cummins. Have you ever thrown a forge ember? No, I haven't. You're going to bowl the open championships in Reno? Yeah, I did a, a couple videos in Reno already to try and promote the open championships. I'll be there with my team. We're actually still looking for a couple members. Um, right now it's me, Ben Harden, and Jay Suzuki. So looking for a couple guys to fill our team out but in no rush we cover strong core amanda what was your question dog gem is better for longer score patterns yeah blah 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 blah, blah. packy meetup maybe who knows have you always bowled two-handed yes since the very beginning of bowled two-handed are you drilling these balls for the tournament jackson this week Yes and no. The tournament in Jackson this week is 39 feet, so I'm expecting a lot of urethane personally. However, these balls or are for the PBA Tour this upcoming season. So, yeah. That's what I would say is that these balls, yes and no in terms of what they're for. I got... It's my last bowling ball. It's the last one. I'll answer a couple questions now and then I will be, uh, I'll be hopping off here. So feel free once again, guys, 
fire in your questions last minute. I'll try and answer as many as I can, but thank you guys for sticking along and keeping me a little bit entertained. And hopefully I'm giving you guys some value here with the information. Limited information. <laughs> down zero the press out lock that sucker in All right, well, that wraps it up for me. What was the favorite ball I've ever drilled? Probably this, outside of the Purple Hammer, probably the Stealth. Did I ever bowl in Southeast Kansas? Yes. I bowled in like Joplin, Missouri, which I guess isn't really Southeast Kansas, but it's almost Southeast Kansas. Does that count? Um, favorite ball I've ever drilled, Purple Hammer. The Track Stealth is the recent ball that I've drilled the most of. How do I feel about the Black Widow White Pearl? Tommy Jones kicks my ass with it every week, so I don't like it. But I like the fact that it rolls good on the lane. And I don't get a chance to throw those types of balls enough, but um, I know a lot of guys really like that ball. Favorite ball of 2023 next to the Envy Tour. Um, the Brunswick Mindset, that ball I just drilled, I am going to get a ton of use out of it with it being at the top of my bag and at the top of my uh, – at the top of my bag, the first ball out. It's that huge, super slow, really strong ball. I'll be able to bring it everywhere and use it um, pretty much everywhere as well. When did I start bowling? When I was a freshman in high school, I started bowling more than once every other year. So, hmm. Favorite ball I've ever drilled? Um, I was asked that question about a thousand times from the same guy. Packy, what do you think? What do you think that ball will be best for? Um, in terms of the knockout, it's going to be that I can use it on house shots for sure with the one that I have that's just the normal layout. Um, and it's going to be best for those like games three through six for righties or uh, two through two through five, three through six for righties where the transition starts to happen. It's a lower end solid symmetrical ball where you can move in that knockout bruiser is where you can move in and still get some kick down lane. Um, Tom Holl Tom. Hello, Lily. Hey, Lily. Um, I do use vacuum grips and I use them because, you know, we go, we travel all these different places and sometimes your fingers swell. Sometimes they shrink and vacuum grips are the best way to go about, in my mind, having a nice fitting ball throughout, no matter where we go. If we go to Florida one week or if we go to Canada the next, it's a good way to keep my fit the same when my hand doesn't stay the same. What discontinued ball would I love to see a comeback? The OG Phantom Urethane. That's the one. I got one in my basement that I haven't drilled yet. Maybe you guys will see me drill it in the offseason and make a video on it. Um, but, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for sticking along all the way through this live session. I'm going to pop out here, put some grips in these balls, and uh, get some dinner in my belly. So thank you guys for sticking along. I appreciate you guys. Um, I appreciate you guys sticking along all the way to the end of this video. So thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay tuned this week for Jackson, Michigan, and a very, very, very special Belmo video tomorrow. Me and him, we got to bowl and chat a little bit. So 
make sure you stay tuned for that. We're releasing that at 5 p.m. Central Time tomorrow. So stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for sticking along, and thanks for watching. Peace.